To prepare for lunch, I'm using Chinese broccoli. One option is to steam them whole. Another is the stir-fry option by first cutting off the stems, then slice the remaining. As always, the full recipe is written in the description below. I'm using the Italian ground sausage that was set aside earlier as seen on episode 1. The Italian ground pork elevates the sweet flavor of the Chinese broccoli. These ingredients are so simple yet flavorful. Even meat lovers will enjoy this dish. Lastly, garnish with toasted sesame oil, a dash of salt, and coconut amino sauce. Be sure to watch until the end as we're going to see if my husband will enjoy this dish. Next, I'm making dinner. I'm cooking crispy salmon belly. The sweet red onions along with the curly mustard greens will bounce the fatty and juicy flavor of the salmon belly. I bet at this point, my husband can't wait to have dinner or even lunch just as long as he can finally eat. The aroma of the garlic, onions, and grated ginger combined with a hint of lemon juice makes such a mouth-watering dish. This tartar sauce goes great with salmon and stir-fried greens. Mix avocado mayo and plain yogurt together with sweet relish, olive oil, lemon juice, and seasonings. I have here two dishes where I have incorporated green vegetables for my meat lover husband to taste. The first dish is stir-fried pork with Chinese broccoli. The second dish is salmon with mustard greens. So now we're ready for have to have him to come and taste. It's good. Yeah, mm -hmm. combined together, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tatter sauce is really good. He's eating green vegetables. So, tip number two is always season your vegetables well. Use a variety of seasoning to bring out the flavor. Go ahead and taste the second one. Obviously, he's going to grab the rice first. Mm. So the last tip is really always good. taste your food. That's where you know when, when the vegetable is good. good. Really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Cool? Mm -hmm. Great. For more ways to cook green vegetables or more recipes, subscribe. Until then, I'll see you next time.